This video features a preview from one of Texas Wildlife Association's on-demand youth webinars. Please enjoy the preview and look out for program details at the end. Teachers, we are about to begin the animal skull investigation. I have three animals for your class to help me identify. You may want to pause the program between each question so that you and your class can discuss. Okay, everyone, are you ready? Let's investigate. Okay, so here is your first skull to identify. First, let's take a look at the overall size of the skull. Would you say this belongs to a small, medium, or large animal? This skull is about 8 inches or 20 centimeters long. I would say this is a fairly large animal. Next, take a look at the eyes. Which direction are they facing? To the front or to the side? These eyes are definitely facing to the front. Remember the rhyme from earlier? Eyes to the front, hunt. That would make this animal a, everyone say it with me, predator. So we know that we have a large predator species. Next, let's take a look at what kind of teeth this animal has. What kind of teeth can you see? These teeth are all very sharp. There are sharp canines in the front of the mouth and even the molars at the back of the mouth are sharp. If this animal has sharp teeth, what kind of food do you think it eats? Hopefully you said meat because this animal is a carnivore. So, we have a large predator that eats meat. What kind of animal do you think it belongs to? Remember, it's going to be a Texas mammal. And don't worry, I will give you a hint before I reveal the answer. Here's your hint. One thing that might help you figure this out is by looking at its long snout. What other kinds of animals have a good sense of smell and a long nose like this? Are you ready for the answer? 